Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be covering how to use the Elementor Pro Reviews widget. So before we dive in, I just wanted to say that if you don't already have Elementor Pro, I highly recommend picking it up for yourself. And if you want to support my channel and pick it up, you can get it at WPWithTom.com slash Elementor. I also wanted to mention that I've got a whole playlist of videos covering all of the Elementor Pro widgets, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see those. And with that out of the way, let's dive into this tutorial. Now to start, I'm going to be using this free template here that I got off of an Envato Elements kit. I'm just going to go and hit this plus icon, and I'm going to then search for the Pro widget review, and it comes up reviews right here. We can click, drag it, and drop it right in here. And by default, we have three slides to start. Now, overall, this has some very similar features to other widgets that they have within Elementor Pro, such as the Media Carousel widget. But I'll quickly go through the slide settings over here, and then I'll go into more of the styling as we go through this. So I'm actually going to show you right here. You can X right here. If you click X, it removes an item from the slides. And now there's only two. If you see these buttons at the bottom, there's only two in the pagination here. If we wanted to, we can go and copy and duplicate them. I'm going to make six total just like that. So what we can do here is click on where it says item one, and you can add images to these. So if I wanted to, I can add one right here. And now you can see that it has the image of this woman right here. If you wanted, you can change the name and the username. I'm not going to go through that on each of these, but I am going to at least show you if we add images to each of them, what they look like. So I'm going to add one of this guy right here. And then I'll add this lady right here. And from here, I'll go down to number four. I'll add this guy. And then I'll add another lady on number five. Just doing this real quick for you. And number six, I'll add this last guy right here. So that is our six images. Then we have different pictures of people that we could have these reviews for. So if we went up here to image one right here on item number one, we can add a rating. So let's just say we wanted to add four out of five stars. You can see that go into effect right off the bat like that. And you can do the same for these other ones. Maybe this guy gave it 4.5 and that would show four and a half. You can see right there. So you can actually do decimals as well. I'll give hers a five right here. And then if we go down here, I'll just do five for him. I'll do a four for this and then I'll do another 4.5 down here. So we have a variety of different scores within there. Again, you can change the username if you want on each of these. Now, another thing we can do is we can go down and change the icon. So right here, if we were to click on this, you can add a different icon. For example, where you got the review from. So let's just say you got it from Facebook. You can go and add the Facebook icon in and then just click insert. And now you see it in effect right here in the upper right of this testimonial or this review. So if we want to, we can go down here and change the slides per view. So right now, by default, we have one showing per view. You can see there's six dots at the bottom for all six reviews. So if we wanted to change that, let's go and make it three. And now you can see that this one has the Facebook review. This one has Twitter. This one has Twitter by default. And you can also see where you would add in the text over here as well down at the bottom where it says review. You can also put a link to that actual review if you want as well. So it's really easy to make these changes within here. I'm actually going to close this and then down here where it says slides to scroll by default, we have it set to one and that's what I would recommend doing. So each time it slides, it's only going to move over one person's picture. If you want to have multiple, you would change this to two or three or something like that. But I think one is the best one to go with here. Now over here we have the width. And that will just change how wide this area is. So if we wanted to, we can adjust it, make it smaller or wider at 100% is basically where we started. So I'm going to leave it as 100%. And I'll go down to this additional options area now. Now within this options area, we have this arrows. And it says show arrows. Right here are the arrows. It's very light and hard to see. We actually can go over how to change that. I'm going to leave it enabled right now just so I can show you how to change the styling on that. Add some color to it if you want to. And then right here says pagination, which is this at the bottom with these dots. And right now it's set by dots, but we can actually add it as fractions. So it shows six out of six, which would be this one. And if you go to progress, you can see right here is the full progress bar at the top. If I were to let that slide over one more time, you're going to see this black 
bar go right down here so it's only one sixth because it's on the first section out of the six so that is how the progress one works i'm going to go and leave it as dots i think that one is the most uniform and well known as far as websites go i think a lot of people have seen this dot display and they're probably used to it so the transition duration says 500 right now that's 500 milliseconds or half a second you can change that as needed maybe you want to make it 800 or something like that and that would be eight tenths of a second now autoplay is on by default i'm actually going to just turn that off for this case but it just makes it a little bit easier to track how it looks now down here you can also leave autoplay on and have it pause on hover and that's something i recommend so let's say somebody wants to click on this for example and see what this review by john doe is about from facebook or they want to just read what it says you want to have this pause on hover on in that case and you want to also leave the pause on interaction on as well in my opinion it just makes it easier for people that are trying to view what the image says while it's sliding along here for this review so i'm going to turn this autoplay off in this case the other thing i wanted to cover here is image size is full if we were to actually go and make it like a thumbnail or something smaller in this case it probably won't have a big impact but the image quality will be better if you leave it as full so i would just leave it as full in this case here i'm just going to go and click update to make these changes go into effect and then i'll go over to the style tab so we can get started changing the style with how this looks so within this area we have slides we actually have quite a few options in here but if we start with slides we can see it says space between 10 pixels and that's the space right here between each of these so if you wanted to have no space you can literally go and make it zero or you can add more space by making it 50. i would say i'm just going to leave it as 10 which is the default here but you can change that as needed for the background color this color will actually change everything on the slide so if we made it red right here you can see it changes the whole slide color to be a different color if you wanted it green that's what it would look like so let's go up here i'm actually going to edit the button and i'm going to go to style and i'm going to grab this color as the background color in case you want to use that so i'm just going to copy that and i'll right click edit reviews and i'll be back in the style section here and let's just say i wanted the whole background to be the same color as other colors on the site right here so you can see that now it made these colors go into effect on the full thing if you wanted to you can go and just click clear if you don't like that and have it go back to white by default now here we have border size and we can adjust that as needed when we have it locked like this the values will all be linked together so it's going to expand each section not just the top that i'm clicking on it's going to make everything larger as far as the borders go so you can adjust that as needed if you want to have a border i'm going to leave it as two right here and i'm going to just make this one a little bit darker color now here you can change the border radius the larger you make this number the more oval or rounded it's going to be so if we go up to like 20 you're going to see it gets more rounded on the edges but if we were to go even further up to like 100 it's going to be a pill shape so i'm just going to go and make it 20 in this case i think it's a nice little look to it gives it a little bit of a different appearance so if we go down here you can adjust padding as needed and this will basically give more spacing around what's inside of the actual bubbles here for the reviews i'm going to leave that as 15 in this case so here is the header background color header background is going to be this area at the top so let's just say i wanted to change that and i'll paste in that green color you can see what it looks like when you paste that in maybe you want to do that and make it a little bit more transparent like a lighter green you could do something like that and change it as needed i'm actually going to go and clear that as well and just leave it as is so from here you can go to gap and gap is going to be the spacing between if you go like this you can see it expand between each of the headings and the username and then the actual review itself i'm going to leave that as 30 and then separator is this little line that you can lightly see between the two so let's just say you wanted to show that and you make it a little bit darker you can see it a lot better like that and it's separating the name the rating and the username from the actual review itself when you do that you can also increase or decrease the size of that if you want it to be thicker or not i'm going to leave it as two just so you can see it now if we go down to text right here we can adjust this as well so this says color name maybe that's something i'd want to make that green color or maybe even a little bit darker green than that and then you can see it kind of goes with the rest of the site at that point 
Again, in text here, you can go and change typography as needed. So if you wanted it to be bigger, you could do that. You can make it 35 or something like that. Maybe 30 would be good. And then if we click out of that, we go to title and it's the same thing for title. If we wanted to go and change the color of title, we can do that. I'm going to just make it black and I'll make the typography size a little bit bigger. So if you wanted to, you can also go and change the font family here, change it so it's italic or something like that. If you wanted to see that's what italic would look like, I think it looks kind of good like that. But there's so many options within here that you can change in the styling. I'm just running through it real quick, but you could take your time and really style this to be perfect for the way you want. Now review right here, we can change that as well. So let's just say we wanted to make it a completely different color. You can go and make it blue or something like that. I'm going to leave it as black, but that is where you could change that. Now if we go down to image, we can change the size of the image as well just by dragging this and making it as big or as small as we want. So there we go. I'm just going to leave it as a larger size here. I'll leave it at 65 in this case. The gap would be where the space is between the name and the image itself. So if you want it centered, you probably want to do somewhere around 45 or so. Maybe even a little more like 50 would be centered. And then we can go down and border radius is the radius around the actual image itself. So if you want a circle, you go up toward 100. Or if you want square, you would have it toward zero. Somewhere in the middle is going to give you this one with corners that are rounded. So if you really want something like that, you can put it around 20, 25. But I'm going to just go 100 and make it a round image. And here we go. The icon is the official one. So right here is the official colors of Facebook and Twitter. If you want to, you can adjust the size of this social media icon and make it larger or smaller as needed. I'm going to go and leave it as, let's go with 30 here. And then you can change it to custom if you want to add your own color. So let's just say you wanted to add that green again. That's how you would do it and add it right there. Or you can go and leave it as official. Now down here on rating, you can change the rating size, which is these stars. If you want to change the star size right here, that's how you would do that. I'm going to go and make it 20 for this. The spacing you can change as well. I think it looks fine as it was with maybe one or zero between for the spacing. The color as well you can change. So let's just say we want to make it our color here for the site. I think it actually looks pretty good. But if you want to, you can leave it as more of a normal yellowish star color. And then you can also change the unmarked color as well. See where it's this lighter gray. You can change that. Let's go and make it black. But I don't think it really looks that good when you do that. I think it's better to just clear it and have it show that very light color there for a partial star when it's not all the way in right here so if we go down to navigation this is where we can actually change the arrow color that i was talking about so right now you can barely see the color of the arrows let's go and paste in the site color again now you can see it on the edges and you can also go and adjust the size as needed make it bigger or smaller as needed so i'm going to make it 20 here just because it fits well with this and then if you want to change the pagination size and color that's down here, let's go and make this green as well. You can see now this turned green instead of black. And you can also change the size as needed down here. I'm just going to make it 10. It's nice and visible and easy to see. And then I'm going to go and click update. So I know I ran through these options pretty quickly here, but there's so much you can do in terms of styling within the reviews widget here. And that pretty much wraps up the Elementor Pro reviews widget. I really hope that this video was helpful and that you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more WordPress related tutorials. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.